What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we're back with stage 8 of the Giro d'Italia. Second week, we're approaching the first rest day as well and again we have a pretty mountainous stage. To me, this looks like another breakaway stage on paper, at least heading from Foggia to Guardia San Fromondi. I've nailed that I think, but we could have another GC battle on our hands here. Away we go then and I think it would be nice if we can jump into the breakaway with a couple riders today. Like I said, I see this being a breakaway day in real life for sure, so let's try and jump up the road and see what we can do here. So I've attacked with Vandenberg. I think we'll attack as well with Bessiel. Even the GOAT TJ Van Garderen can try and get up the roads as well. So we have three riders again. Vandenberg can pull in this group for us. Let's see if this breakaway goes, and it seems they will allow us to put three riders up the road too. Great news. But ag 2 r are pacing very hard on the front. Apparently they want someone in this group. I don't know why, they just don't try and bridge this gap right here. I guess after what happened to Balcom Olma a few days ago, it's fair enough, but we do have Cepeda up here alongside a few of our guys. We look by far the best represented team in this group at the moment. And there we go, finally ag 2 r do decide to attack Jan Hurst as well with Bidard and Galapan for ag 2 r um, so this breakaway should finally get up the road. So even though the Peloton have kept this gap fairly close, you can see it's just over two minutes to the breakaway. I still think this is a great move for us. Vandenberg, he can pull on these flat sections. Then Bessiel and TJ, who's on a great day today. If those guys get caught by the Peloton, they are in a great position to help out Hugh Carthy later on. If not, they can try and go for the stage win. So it's a win-win for us here. So the other day we had Quebec Assos on the front for the entire stage and they didn't finish in the top 20 in that stage. Today, it seems Israel starts up have Dan Martin feeling good and they apparently want the stage win, but we're gonna continue pressing on up the race. And of course, this also gives us the opportunity to gain some Chiclamino points with Alberto Bessio. By the way, the gap is now under a minute. What are they doing pressing on so aggressively in the group up the road? We'll try and take this with Bessio. There you go. Now we can go back to Vandenberg's wheel. Some nice points for Bessio there, closing the gap to Caleb Buen in second place. TJ and Bessio still look great, but look at the gap. These guys are working so hard to close it for some odd reason. My oh my, look at the peloton and look at our guys' energy here. We have suffered with this tempo. I mean, and the guys continue to press on in the peloton, trying to catch the breakaway. It's 50 second leap. So Julius Vandenberg will pull his final turn here now onto the foot of this major, major climb today. The Boca de la Selva, going to be a big one. Now he is done. Maybe TJ can pull now. I think Bessiel will sit up in this group. Great ride by Vandenberg here today, trying to help out the day's breakaway. But we're gonna have to push on now to try and hold this lead because the guys behind are not really slowing down just yet. So Mikel Honore has now come to the front for the Koenig quick step and looking at our guys' energy, I really hope the other teams are feeling this as much as we are because our guys are struggling so much. But in the breakaway, we look great, I must say. TJ is now working for our Berto Betio. So right now, only Guerrero is left with Hugh Carthy and still Demarki kicks on at the front. Galapan is gone and at the front we have two riders only with Jefferson, Alexander Cepeda, the little Ecuadorian here with TJ helping these guys out still and I think he's going to be dropped now so it will be Bessiel versus Cepeda in the breakaway. Honestly I would love to keep TJ over the top but we need to continue pressing on otherwise the Peloton are going to catch this breakaway so here goes Bessiel he's going to try and push it to the top of this climb. TJ he can sit up and wait for Carthy now of course his leader on the day and look at the rhythm. We are getting forced to the back of this group with Masnada on the front. So Alberto Betio will take the points at the top of the climb. Not really our goal there, but Cepeda has been dropped just a little bit. We can now try and recover and just a minute back to the guys in the peloton. Let's sit up and even Ruben Guerrero has been dropped here with the likes of Ghana, Caruso out the back as well. Nibali as well is out the back here. What's an electric tempo we have had so far today. So as the mini peloton descend, we do have a few riders come back on. I can see the blue jersey of Atia Valsa is here. Further back, I think in this group, we somehow have Joao Almeida in this group. Yes, we do. Also, Joy Hindley for DSM. Those guys really struggling at this Giro, just like they are in real life. And to be honest, I think this breakaway 
it's a dead cause because they only have 45 seconds. Such a shame they chased us down so early. So I have now allowed Alberto Betio to be caught by the Pelson. As you can see, Cepeda, he's gone solo. He's clearly on a great day is young Jefferson Alexander Cepeda, but I can't see him holding on here. The Pelson are chasing so, so aggressively. So we swing into the final 10K here. Still Cepeda holds 40 seconds. He's not doing badly. He's given it a real go here, but we should have the strength, I believe. Guerrero can try and tempo on the front with the likes of Matej Mohoric Masnada here as well. We have plenty of strength. There is an intermediate sprint. I don't think I'm going to go for that. We need to save energy for the final couple of kilometers today and make sure we stay safe with Hugh Carthy. That is the main goal. You can see no one really is going to sweep up those bonus seconds or the points from that intermediate sprint. And Carthy looks pretty good here, sat on the back of TJ and I mean, we're in a great position now, 6K to go. So Guerrero paces really hard into the final 5K. We're blocked off a little by Ina Rubio. Guerrero has done a great job today. He is now done though for the day. And I'm starting to wonder, could we maybe challenge for the stage with Alberto Betio? I'm not sure, 3K to go. TJ now pacing really hard on the front, trying to position big Hugh Carthy at the front here. We're doing a great job of that for now, but it's gonna be very, very difficult. I think we need to use Alberto Betio as a lead out really for Hugh Carthy. Right at the back of this group right now, we have Egan Bernal. He is so far out of position for the Ineos Grenadiers. Just 1K to go. Hugh Carthy looks very, very good. Still on the wheel of Alberto Betio. What a ride by the big Italian. Now we can go a little early, maybe with Hugh. We're gonna try it though. Here comes Carthy. Can he steal a stage win at the Giro d'Italia? He's going to try but it's not going to be enough. Giulio Ciccone wins today ahead of Roman Bardet. Mollema third, Hugh Carthy will be among the GC guys. No bonus seconds here today. It's a great effort, but further back, where is Egan Bernal? He should finish in the same time, I think, but a moment of weakness perhaps for the Ineos Grenadiers here. Well, we gave it a go. I really tried to attack the breakaway, but the Peloton gave us absolutely no chance, sadly, today. I'd have loved to have gone for the stage win with Betio from that breakaway. In the end though, we settled for a GC placing with Carthy and no real time gaps to be fair among any of the favorites. So the GC looks pretty much the same. We stay in fourth place, but very much in touch of the Maglia Rosa. You can see the other comps as well right here. And stage nine only gets more exciting because Castel de Sangro to Campo Felice should be absolutely brilliant. We have 160K, climbs all day, and that should be very, very exciting. So I hope you're looking forward to that. And if you are, drop a like on the video, drop a sub as well if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.